Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Today is my day off and I'm going to go and explore an art gallery, so come with me. What most people probably don't know is that during the week I work as a dance teacher and part of that means that my hours are usually from four o'clock onwards, so after school hours. So it really means that I get a lot of the day to do all the things I enjoy doing. So going to the gym, um, playing instruments and just loads of different hobbies like that. Another thing that comes from working as a dance teacher is that obviously you're working with children and they're just brilliant, they're so honest and recently one of the comments that really stood out to me was at the end of the session when I put my coat on to leave one of the kids said you look like a 1950s policeman because I was wearing this coat so I can, I can see where they're coming from. I'm going to take it as a compliment. I'm not going to take it negatively, but uh, it's certainly, certainly quite funny. So I'm standing just outside the Barber Institute for Fine Arts and I'm quite excited to see what they've got inside. I've been there once before, um, but I'm sure that lots has changed since. I won't be doing too much filming whilst I'm inside just because it's a small uh, art gallery so I don't want to distract people who are enjoying the art there. So come with me and let's see what they've got. These two paintings show Daphne pursued by Apollo, followed by the metamorphosis of Daphne. This watercolour from 1829 is essentially a postcard for 18th century tourists. In this oil painting, I wonder if these two are hardworking or up to no good. I think the latter. I was over the moon to see that they had some of Degas' dancers, one of my all-time favourite pieces of artwork. As a dance teacher myself, I have to ignore how terrible these positions are and how inaccurate the descriptions are, but I think this adds to their unique charm. Although this is a ponche, not an arabesque, I did love how they said it's basic classical ballet. I'm sure that many of my students would disagree. So I've just got home and I had a really nice time at the art gallery. There was lots to see, uh, ranging from all different periods of time, which was really nice. A few of my favourite pieces I actually managed to get as a postcard. Uh, so there was this one, which was uh, a painting of some jockeys at a uh, just before a match started. and. Um, so I really like that one, that was by uh, Degas, who also does the dances. I'm definitely interested in his artwork. Um, this one I thought was quite funny. It reminds me of uh, me and George and our friend Lauren, who we live in a house share with, and they just look like they're up to no good. So I thought that was quite funny. And then this one also I thought was really nice. It had a really nice story to it as well. Um, so yeah, those were the, the little postcards which I've got on my wall. So I'm looking forward to collecting more postcards as well. I have to show you the ones that I've got because I do enjoy collecting them. Uh, but I'd certainly recommend going to an art gallery, even if it's just a local art gallery like this one was for me. Uh, it was a really nice afternoon out. Got to take a little picnic to have after. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Thank you.